Mean, Mern, Lamp, Lemp. Hi, my name is Walt Rivero, and I'm one of Linode's developer advocates. You may have heard the words Python, JavaScript, or even MongoDB. Well, these different technologies are combined for different needs. This video will cover four things. One, what is a tech stack? Two, what are the main differences between Mean, Mern, Lamp, and Lemp? Three, which tech stack should I consider for my project? And four, why use Linode for this? Let's get started. What is a tech stack? A tech stack is a combination of different libraries, frameworks, and applications that help you create a mobile app, simple website, or something that needs to scale up to serve millions of views. The saying, use the right tool for the right job, applies here. There are an overwhelming amount of technologies, but here are some popular ones. Now, these aren't tech stacks, these are the individual technologies. You can see that we have Linux, JavaScript, HTML, Flutter, React, and more. The tech stack is when I stack these on top of one another so that you can have an operating system, web frameworks, databases, and backend servers. One of the most popular tech stacks is the mean stack. The letters M-E-A-N stands for MongoDB, Express, Angular, and Node. These four technologies all fall within the three main parts to a system, either the front end, the back end, or the database. A quick overview. The front end is what you see when you visit a website, like the buttons, the contact form, the subscribe button, and more. The database is where all that information gets sent to. Basically, it's just a hard drive. And the back end is the infrastructure that transports the front end's message to the database. Another popular tech stack is the MERN stack, which stands for MongoDB, Express, React, and Node. So let's stack them together like this. Notice that the only difference between MEAN and MERN is whether you prefer Angular, which is a front end library created by Google, or React, which is a front end library created by Facebook. Now, let's look at the LAMP and LEMP stacks. LAMP means Linux, Apache, MySQL, and either PHP, Perl, or Python. LEMP means Linux, Nginx, MySQL, and either PHP, Perl, or Python. And take note that the E stands for Nginx, which is spelled like this. Notice that the difference between LAMP and LEMP is whether you prefer Apache or Nginx. So what are the main differences between mean, mern, lamp, and lemp? Now that we know the technologies between the stacks, let's look into their similarities and differences. We know that the L in lamp and lemp stands for Linux. However, the mean and mern stacks usually have Linux too. The reason is because Linux is the most popular operating system in the world. In fact, 93% of the internet is run on it. So if this is the case, then why don't Mean and Mern get an L in their names? It's because some technologies are assumed in all tech stacks. So sometimes certain letters are just omitted, like how HTML, CSS, and JavaScript are in most development teams, but the Mean stack isn't called Mean HCJ. So you can see how all of this is starting to sound pretty complicated. The good news is that no one is expected to learn all of these tech stacks. Some companies have hundreds of developers, each with their own specialty. In most cases, choosing the tech stack is usually decided by the company's senior software engineer. So let's go back to LAMP and LEMP. One of their biggest advantages is that they've been around for so long. They have so many plugins, community support, and business features, like one-click installations, for example. And this is a big deal, because are you looking to hire someone with 15 years of experience? Then chances are that the person has been developing with LAMP and LEMP for a long time. LAMP and LEMP live in a PHP world. The only difference is Apache versus Nginx. Whereas Mean and Mern live in a JavaScript world, and the only difference there is the front end component, React versus Angular. So, which companies would use which tech stacks? Well, for Mean, one example could be a clothing e commerce website because of Angular. For Mern, one example could be a movie streaming company because of React. It's very front end heavy. For LAMP, one example could be a phone messaging app because the main technology is Apache HTTP server. 
or maybe you're starting a WordPress site, then use LAMP. And finally, you have LEMP. One example could be a car hailing app because of the power of Nginx. In other cases, some companies even create their own stacks, either by using less popular software combinations or by creating their own software in-house. As for choosing a stack, it's less a question of what can developers do and more about where the efficiency of the company's resources is focused. So why would you use Linode for these tech stacks? Well, because Linode has affordable and competitive pricing. And also, we have one-click apps. One-click apps take out the guesswork and errors that could arise from installing these packages individually. Want to bring your local dev environment over to a server? Start it in one click. It's fast and stable. Also, here at Linode, we keep our Linux operating systems as up-to-date as possible, even making new distro updates available as soon as the day they come out. So you can set up a test environment and test them all out quickly. Perfect for a $5 server that does a lot of the work for you to make it easy to get up and running. So to recap, one, a tech stack usually highlights its four main languages. The main ones are mean, mern, lamp, and lemp. Two, the three parts to a system are the front end, the back end, and the database. Three, lemp and lamp are good for WordPress. PHP projects, bulletin boards, or you can choose your own software suite. Whereas if you want to develop some sort of JavaScript app that you're working on, then Mean and Mern are the way to go. And four, Linode has one-click apps to get you up and running in literally minutes. I'll put a link below of our documentation so that you can learn more about this topic. And that's it. Give a thumbs up if you enjoyed this and feel free to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified of new episodes. Thanks.